What is up everybody and welcome to the Black Widow armor. This is going to be a new armor mod by Deserter X. He's really no kind of mod author in both Skyrim and Fallout 4. And as you can see, he is bringing us this extremely high quality armor, almost a companion armor to the Black Widow shotgun. They don't necessarily have to be used together and they aren't included with one another, but there are another a uh, number of different kind of similarities and just different features that they provide with each other that definitely make it lucrative to use both of them together. All around the armor is extremely high quality as you can tell right here and honestly just has a bunch of cool uh, features that really again make it stand out from some other armors out there so in order to get the armor what you're going to want to do is travel over to this place called the wildwood cemetery if you want to know where that is here's red rocket so kind of in relation to that not too hard to find actually once you get there there'll be a ton of ghouls so you're going to want to have to kill all of them once you clear everyone out, it's actually going to be much easier to find this at nighttime, but basically go to the highlighted kind of uh, grave here. And as you can see, it says uh, kill death or ill death, till death, till death. Oh, <laughs> but you're going to have this little chest here, and then you're going to want to lockpick that open. And then once you open it inside, you'll find the Black Widow armor, the hood, a gold watch, a shotgun cell, shell, and a tear-stained journal or tear-stained journal. So as you can see, the actual texture quality of this armor is pretty insane. It does look extremely sharp and extremely good on your character. Unfortunately, it is female only. The mod author did say that even if you wanted to port it over to Xbox One, it would basically, or not to Xbox One, but to male characters, it would require almost an entire rework of the armor. So that's something that maybe will be potential in the future, but for the time being, it really isn't just going to work on male armors as it will just look really weird. And again, it's only meant for females. So as you can see, the kind of helmet there, is probably the most kind of focal point of this armor and it does look absolutely awesome the armor itself does have kind of almost an ncr ranger vibe to it but obviously a very evil one at that the torso of this armor kind of has that metal body going on behind it and actually looks like a fully functional and proper armor but of course you do have that coat going over it and i think that makes it look absolutely awesome it has a really cool style with that and i definitely like the look of it and as you can see just kind of building off all these other attentions to detail the pit boy fully works with this armor as you can see the sleeve is rolled up there intentionally so the Pip-Boy would fit appropriately. It is meant to be used in Fallout 4 and unlike many other armors out there, it does kind of work cooperatively with some of the fundamental features of the game. So then around the back of the armor, as you can see, we have this kind of cross there, which does look very cool and interesting. I definitely really like the look of that and it kind of just gives it kind of a mysterious and just really good look to the armor. The whole look and feel of the armor kind of follows a similar theme and all around it is extremely high quality in that sense. So now one of the more awesome features of this armor and one thing that really makes this stand out is something you could do to the helmet. So first and foremost, you can actually modify all the different pieces of the armor. As you can see here, I have the Black Widow armor. This is my fully upgraded version with kind of, uh, you know, you could change the mark of it. But then this one is the base model. So I really like when armor mods do this because it makes them actually viable. It's not only like an outfit, but also as an armor. Because as you can see, 150 resistances are, uh, you know, pretty good. Like you're going to definitely be viable. But the hood also has this one attachment called Black Widow Vision. So I'm going to switch hoods right now. As you can see, I have both of them favorited. And just check out what happens as you switch the kind of mode. So as you can see, this thing called Black Widow Vision or Widow Vision is uh, basically going to uh, show you enemies kind of from even behind walls. So this is only going to work on certain uh, like kind of lower health enemies and stuff like that. I'm not really sure how that works exactly, but basically again, when I have that hood installed, I'm switching back to the other hood now. As you can see, they could kind of slowly fade away, which in itself looks awesome. It's awesome that it has like, it fades in. And it's kind of hear hard to hear over the rain, but there's actually a, a little bit of a kind of, and I'll actually turn off my HUD here, but there's actually a little bit of a kind of, it goes like, I don't know, that's my, my verbal recreation of it, but as you can see, I can totally see where all these enemies are now, and, you know, kind of sneak up on them, so, uh, they're actually fighting Piper, that's, that's what's going on at this moment, I do think I have my sneak skill maxed out on this character, so... Oh, I, I didn't crouch there, so I, I might actually be able to sneak up behind these guys and get a pretty cool uh, nifty critical hit. I don't know if I have any uh, empowered... Okay, never mind. Piper is actually winning here. So, uh, we can go for a critical hit here. And let's see if we can actually do it. This final one should blow him away. 
as you can see I'm actually using explosive rounds in this thing but uh, yeah as you can see this is definitely a cool armor and that little feature even though it's you know relatively minor arguably added in by some other mods the way this one implements that I think is just absolutely amazing so here's another great example of the armor in use as you can see like I could tell there's enemies there I could tell there's some raiders over here shooting something as you can see I could actually see them now but otherwise if we were just walking over here I would hear shooting and be like uh what's going on but uh, now I can actually see exactly where these enemies are I'm actually going to try and sneak up onto these guys right now and uh, I think they're I don't know what they're fighting are these gunners or something I'm actually kind of far away so I'm going to try and get a little bit closer because they still have not yet seen me and what does that guy have Oh, is that glitching out? It's glitching out with that particular outfit, as you can see. Um, I don't think this guy has realized I'm here yet, so I'm actually going to try and go for a shot right there. And as you can see, with the explosive ammo on this thing, you pack a serious punch and uh, can definitely do some harm to some enemies. And uh, that guy's a little out of the way, but it looks like I actually could get him there. So uh, Piper's going to go for some shots as well. And uh, yeah, as you can see, this is just a really awesome armor. Obviously, it's cool the way you could get it. There's only obviously one version in the world. It's not like this will spawn on enemies. Pretty dark out right now. Uh, we could actually put on the other hood right here. And as you can see, things change. The, the visuals change a bit. Like, okay, so this is the uh, widow hood. And now if we take that off, as you can see, things brighten up a little bit. That's why things look so black and white. But I think it just looks really cool. And you could totally use that during the day as well. Although you do need the night person perk to uh, craft it. Just the first level though. But yeah, definitely an extremely high quality armor. One of the highest quality armors and coolest armors to come out for a long time. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this one. Definitely download it. Links in the description down below. As always, I hope you guys did enjoy. And I hope to see you all next time. Later.